Hey guys, welcome back to Brian's Mysteries and Adventures on Trail. Today I'm going to be talking about the Tarp Tent Stratosphere Lee uh, Double Wall Dyneema Tent. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over the tent, um, give you my review of it, and then I'm going to put some videos in that I took actually out on the trail so you can see some specifics. So like I said, it's a, t a tent made by Tarp Tent, uh, which is an awesome company out in California. Uh, it's a two-person two tent. You've got about 44 inches of headroom, about 86 inches in length, and about 45 inches in width as far as being the space. And um, it's a very solidly made tent, and I'll get into this more later, but um, I just found it to be just incredibly, incredibly made. Uh, it runs for about $700 for the setup that you'll see in this video, which is the standard um, mesh inner and the outer, obviously, is the Dyneema. Hey guys, so this is my new uh, Tarp Tent Stratosphere Lee. I got this um, about five months ago, but um, now it's not pitched perfectly right now, but I just wanted to show you guys. Um, it's a Dyneema composite tent with it's a double wall so that's the one main reason I got it I mean I've always been a tarp tent person but I got it because um, it's a double wall so you really don't have to worry about condensation it's got these pitch out ends which are amazing because they've got vents on them and this thing is basically like a bomb I mean, it's been in crazy wind and to me I find it easy to set up some people said they struggled but I don't know it came pretty quickly to me and I'm not good at that kind of thing so anyway so this is my walk around of the tent which I did feature in another video but I'm gonna go over some more specifics here in this part uh, this tent is just constructed so beautifully if you can see here in the seams I mean every single one of them is just perfect they really put a lot of care and attention to detail. And you know, when you're spending that kind of money on a tent, that's, a, that's nice to see. But you know, as you can see, just beautifully stitched, beautifully taped. And um, I wanted to say in the previous uh, little clip that I showed you, I'd just gone through a storm, I was in a campground. Most of these little videos I took in uh, campground so that I could be better prepared and uh, sort of make a better attempt at a video. But um, uh, yes, it's just very well constructed all around. I mean, very, very sturdy. I've gone through several big storms. I did attach the um, extra um, endpoints, which I just was pointing at over there, uh, which just give you even more stability and in stronger winds. And uh, I did find that I did have to place rocks around the, the stakes just to keep them in. But I mean, that's kind of common with any tent. Uh, the fabric is uh, Dyneema Composite. Uh, I'll put the information in the description, what the actual weight is, etc. But I've, I've had no problems with uh, storms, wind, anything like that. Uh, none of the, I, ha I don't have any holes or anything like that. So it's really held up uh, just beautifully. And uh, it's got these two huge vestibules, which, I mean, it's a little much for me, but hey, I'm not complaining. You can store just tons of gear, whatever you want. Um, the space inside is great. Uh, one thing I would have done a little differently, and again, I don't know the specifics, but you can see it only comes up to about there, the mesh. I wish it would have come out a little bit further, but it's just one small thing. You know, I can't really complain. Uh, lots of space. Uh, there's plenty of space for a large size uh, sleeping mat, both wide and long. So if you're considering that, it would be no problem. Um, I'm about 6'1", and space in the inside was fine for me. So again, if you're considering that. It, but again, this is you know personal preference. So I'd always recommend you know trying something out first. If a friend has one, checking it out. Now, you can see on the end, the ridge line here, you can pull it tighter with these... Um, pitch out ends on the end, which they give you extra lines that come with the tent, which is really nice. And they really do help to make that ridge line tighter. And uh, it is a little tricky getting a perfectly taut pitch, especially in higher wind conditions. But, you know, I didn't really care about that as long as the tent stayed up. Now, a lot of these videos were shot in the morning right after some serious wind. And but I wanted to kind of show that just to show you how well it stood up. So another thing I love about this tent is its versatility. And what I mean by that is you can stake it out in several different ways so that you can have the vestibule doors completely open. Or in this picture, as you can see, I have one sort of semi-closed and the other one is folded back. But you can actually pitch it so that uh, both doors fully roll back. 
uh, which is really nice. You know, if you want more ventilations, the pitch out ends pointed down here have a uh, great uh, little uh, Velcro openings that you can open for more ventilation. This tent offers great views at night, which is awesome too, you know. And uh, I've, like I said, I've gone through some several big, heavy thunderstorms. This picture was right after a huge storm. And yeah, the pitch is a little loose, but it was just great, you know, held up great. And uh, this is what a really taut, this is one of their stock photos pitch would look like. But you can see on the inside, they have one large mat and a smaller mat. So it really does have a lot of space. Now, this picture I wanted to include because this, I went through a, about a five hour, just vicious thunderstorm at about 7,000 feet. And it was just crazy, but the tent held up, didn't come down, and just performed great. Now, this tent does have a fairly large footprint. As you can see, the uh, the ends do come out fairly large, so you will need a pretty good space. But on the PCT, I never had an issue finding space. Having said that, though, you do also have the option of abandoning the vestibule setup and pitching it flat like this if you needed a smaller space. So it's just a very versatile tent. You can also set it up with just the mesh. So if you're in the desert and you know you're going to have clear skies and you want to look up at those beautiful skies, you can just pitch it without the, uh, the Dyneema part, which is just amazing. The uh, zippers are all number five YKK waterproof zippers. And what's another awesome little feature is that instead of having tie backs, they have magnetic uh, tie backs, which are just wonderful. I mean, this is an awesome feature. The tent does require two uh, trekking poles to set up with, uh, but if you're not a trekking pole user, they do offer um, some poles that the tarp tent sells, so that is another option. Uh, the tent comes in right about 29 ounces with the stakes and everything else, which tarp tent gives you, so that's awesome as well. And overall, it is just an outstanding tent. I would definitely recommend it to anybody, especially for a through hike. It's got entries on both sides, which I love. It, the tarp tent gives you six of the Easton Nano stakes. I personally use the mini groundhog stakes, but it is nice that they include those. They give you an awesome stuff sack. And I was able to uh, get this tent in the side pocket of my Gustaver Gear Mariposa. I did have to use a different stuff sack, but it still was worked. They offer it with several different options, including a solid mesh door option. They have um, a sidecar that you can also purchase if you're going to be camping with pets. So just really an overall versatile tent, very solidly built. It's just done wonderful for me so far. I would recommend you getting some kind of a zipper lubricant. I use this one that looks sort of like a chapstick and using it on the zippers because with any tent, especially on a through hike, you are bound to get some dirt and grime in there and this will greatly extend the wear and life of those zippers. As far as negatives, I really can't say any. I mean, I do kind of wish the mesh part on the inside was a little wider. And obviously the price point is a little high, but that's more to do with the material, so. Overall, it's just an absolutely wonderful tent and I've loved it so far. The people at Tarp Tent are just awesome to work with too. They're very friendly, very helpful, will answer any of your questions, so highly recommend. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and see you next time.